There are some stories that you've heard so many times over and over and over again. You think you know so well only to discover that there are details, really important details and applications sitting right in front of your face that you hadn't noticed before. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday. It's snowing outside. It's really kind of cold. Be a great night to grab your Bible and a cup of tea or something like that and join us for Bible study, 7 p.m. via Zoom. All the information in the description of the video, also on the church's Facebook page. Uh, you can text me, you can email me. I'll make sure we hook you up. Because tonight, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to take a break from the latter chapters of Matthew here uh, because we are not going to have uh, any, we're not going to have Wednesday Bible study until, again, until after the new year. We're not going to meet on the 23rd and the 30th. So we're going to take tonight and we're going to read two chapters, really not even two chapters, about half of one chapter and about a third of another. And we're going to take an in-depth look at what the Bible teaches about the birth of Jesus Christ. And there is some surprising stuff here. There's a, little, some, a lot of context to fill in. So what I'd like you to do is to, between now and 7 p.m., get your Bible out, read Matthew chapter 1, apart from the genealogy, and read Luke chapter 2. And then, and I, I want to know what strikes you there. What, what strikes you as new when you read these really familiar stories? In any case, I'm not going to spoil anything because I want to keep some good stuff for this evening. Join us, 7 p.m. via Zoom. Again, all the information in the description. And I look forward to talking about this with you. See you then.